Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions, and in this After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this clean and minimal looking title animation inside of After Effects. This tutorial is for beginners, for people who are very new to After Effects. So I will be going over through all the beginner steps and details that are required to create this awesome looking animation. We will be also using two free After Effects script, link to which will be in the description. So it's gonna be a super fun tutorial. And in case if you want to learn the After Effects right way with step by step process, I have a complete full fledged course link to which is in the description below. So without any further ado, let's straight away jump into After Effects and get started. Now before we start today's video, I just want to quickly tell you guys about my very own Gaze Graphics Pack. Link is in the description. The pack now comes with Atomx extension and over 4500 plus ready to use animations saving you a lot of time. Using the pack is super easy. Open your project composition, browse the animation that you like using the Atomx extension and just click on apply. Boom, you are good to go. You can even use the customizer inside the extension to edit your animations. And as you can see, it only takes a few seconds. Giz Graphics Pack comes equipped with 22 different categories which include 230 plus slideshows and typography animations, 400 plus transitions, 650 plus titles and lower thirds, 60 plus logo animations, animated devices, infographics, color filters, social media animations, shape elements, text and animation presets, sound effects and a lot more. So grab your copy today of the Gaze Graphics Pack version 5 powered by Atomex extension. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Now before we start this tutorial, there is one thing that you need to do is download a free script or a free plugin called Animation Composer. You can simply head on to Google and search for Animation Composer and download and install it. It's completely free. So after you install it, make sure you restart After Effects and then you will get two amazing scripts. Well, you get three, but we need two, which are Anchor Point Mover. And then you can dock it wherever that you want. I'm going to dock it right over here. And the second one is the Keyframe Wingman. I'm going to place this right here. So let's start with creating a new composition. Let's keep it 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS, and let's make this 10 seconds long. Call this render as our main comp, press OK. Then select the pen tool and make sure the fill is set to none, press OK. And let's set the stroke to around 10 pixels. And then I'm gonna create a simple stroke holding shift like so. Now, if I select the shape, you can see our anchor point is perfectly in the center. So now we can align this in case if your anchor point is not in the center, you can use the anchor point mover to place it in the center or in the corners as well. So it's a super useful script. I'm going to rename this to line and then let's go ahead and create some shapes. So let's select the rectangle tool. This time we don't need strokes. So I'm going to set this to zero. We just need the fill set it to whichever color that we like. And I'm going to create a shape like so. Now you can see our anchor anchor point is in the center. I want to place the anchor point at the bottom right over here. So I'm going to click right here and it's going to do that for us. Then let's press control D to duplicate it. Press R to bring down the rotation properties and rotate it by 180 degrees. There we go. And then we need to link these two layers to the line. So I'm going to go right here, go into columns and Turn on parent and link. So it's already turned on. I'm going to select them again and link them to the line. I can also change the color of the line so we can be well organized. Then we can turn off the eye button. We need to hide that. And now I can animate the line. So I'll go to around two seconds. Let's select it and press S to bring down the scale property and unlink this. Create a keyframe. Go back to zero and let's set this to zero. So now we have a very simple animation. Now we can make it interesting. Now let's select the keyframes. You can press F9 to easy ease them or right click, go into keyframe assistant and easy ease them. Then go into the graph editor 
right click and select edit speed graph and then you can adjust the graph to make the animation look uh, a bit more interesting but the easiest way to do this is select the keyframes and you can adjust the graph using these handle in the keyframe wingman script so that is the reason we downloaded these two scripts so i'm going to set this to around 90 and now we have a very nice and snappy animation so i'm going to go right over here at 15 frames select it and press r to bring down the rotation property let's set the rotation to minus 180 create a keyframe let's go to two seconds and set this to zero now i'll select the keyframe and apply the same animation by clicking on this button so now if i preview this we have this really nice animation as you can see all right so that is looking very nice now let's select the text tool and type in the text that we want so i'm going to type in motion designer for the font i'll use clash gross tech one of my favorite font right here and make them full caps make it smaller like so for the color i'll go with a nice reddish pink okay same for this stroke as well i can simply color pick with this okay select the text press ctrl d to duplicate it pull this below make it white and let's add a name i'm going to type in andrew kramer because everyone knows andrew kramer and let's increase the size like so align this into the center okay this is looking quite nice i'm going to adjust the kerning a little bit there we go okay perfect now what we have to do is place the motion designer text below the shape layer one and place the second text that is andrew kramer below the shape layer two and change the track mat of this so i can click on this toggle switch mode and change the track mat of this text to alpha mat and this one as well to alpha mat so now if i preview this we have this nicer reveal and the shapes that we previously created are acting as a mask for our text now there are a couple of things that we need to fix because you can see i want the text to appear below the line so we need to adjust the shape so i can turn them on like so and let's select them let's move the line on the top so we can see it more properly and i'll place the shape right over here okay so now if i hide them okay that is looking much better but now we can also add some animation to our text so let's go right here select the text that we want go right over here Click on animate and let's add a position and then go into add property and add an opacity. Bring down the position like so. Let's go at around 100 and set the opacity to 0. Go into the range selector 1. Advance and set the shape to ramp up. And let's change the based on characters to words. And now we can animate the offset. So I'll set the offset all the way up to 100. Create a keyframe, go back to around one second and set this to minus 100. So now we have something like this, but it's kind of snappy. I need to make it a bit more smoother. So let's set the ease high to around 20 and set this one to around 70. Let's see. Yep, that looks much more smoother. As you can see, yep. And now we can basically copy this animator, press Control C make sure to place the time indicator at around one second and paste it on the second text or the first text that is motion designer Control v and all we have to do is go into the properties of the animator and change the position to minus 100 so that it appears from the top and now we have this really nice animation so now if i preview this let's see what we get yep that is looking very nice now let's add a secondary animation to this title so i'll go to around maybe one second 15 frames and right click and create a new null object this is going to be our scale animator and then what we have to do is select the line and the text and parent them to this scale select it press s to bring down the scale property create a keyframe go to around two second and 15 frames and let's scale this down a little bit and apply the same animation from the keyframe wingman so now we have a second free animation as you can see so it animates and then settles down like so it will increase the duration to three seconds yep that looks much more smoother 
and then you can use this title animation on any video any image that you want and it would look really clean really professional and elegant so that is how you can create some minimal and clean looking title animation inside of after effects if you enjoyed this video make sure to let me know in the comment section below if you're watching my video for the very first time please do consider subscribing to the channel and if you want to learn the basics of after effects if you want to get started with after effects the right way i have a complete course link to which is in the description you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motion and if you're feeling generous please do support us on patreon again all the links are in the description below you can watch my other title animation tutorials here is the playlist so go check them out with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out